Good morning. It is day two. It is a sea day here on Harmony of the Seas. We're going to go check out the ship and try to get some breakfast. Colin is requiring some coffee, so we're going to go get some uh, stuff to make him feel much better to start his day. I hope you join with us and enjoy day two of Harmony of the Seas. We're going to get this. So we're at the Windjammer Marketplace, kind of the buffet area, and we gotta tap our key to get in. So we'll see how this looks. Correct. Thank you. And watchy watchy. They're letting us refill our own drinks here. Take note of that Disney Cruise. So just like other cruise lines that we've been on, it is not self-service at the buffet. You, somebody will serve you, you get a plate, you go, and you still get as much as you want. It's just they have to actually serve you. I decided to go for like a country breakfast this morning. Sausage, ham, potatoes, baked beans. Yeah, man food. What'd you get, Colin? A little bit of everything. Eggs, sausage, hash browns, muesli. He went traditional. He went traditional. That's, that's respectable. Good. Colin really thinks that is Seattle's best coffee, right? That's good. It's a good cup of coffee. So we just wrapped up breakfast in Windjammer Marketplace. I think Colin's gonna go read at the front. I may just wander around a little bit. I have no idea what I want to do. Just check out the chip, I guess. And just like that, we're tapped out. They let they know now that a certain number of people have gone and left from Windjammer. So one of the advantages of being part of the key is that you get private access to certain amenities on the ship. So right now they're doing a private key surf lesson on the flow rider. So that's going on right now. That's one advantage, doing the key, you get private times to enjoy some of the great amenities on the ship. So this boat may only have around 2,600 passengers on it, but it's 10 a.m. and the pool deck's already starting to fill up. So you can only imagine what you'd have to do to get a good pool seat if this thing was filled up. I was just informed, I thought I'd ask, on the water slides, I wanted to take a GoPro on the water slides. I can't, even if it's wrist strapped or head strapped, you cannot take a GoPro or another camera on the water slide. So it's kind of a bummer. So the solarium is a little quieter place on the front of the ship. It's adults only. So they've got deck chairs, there's actually a bar. 
a little bistro that only adults on, uh, only adults can go to. So it's kind of a little quieter place on the ship. So in Central Park, not only do they have like live plants, but they also have really upscale shopping. Cartier, Omega, you name it. You want something nice as far as jewelry, watches, bags, anything like that. It's located right here in Central Park, deck eight of the Harmony of the Seas. So behind me is Park Cafe. That's another place in Central Park. You can kind of go get some breakfast. They've got some burritos, they got bagels, they got cereal. Uh, so pretty much anything you'd want. Some English muffins as well. So it's, you don't have to go to the Windjammer for breakfast by any means, but this is a good place. And then you can actually sit out on the nice patio and enjoy your breakfast, which is really, really cool. They also meticulously take care of all of these plants here. The, the irrigation runs daily, and we've got workers out here right now that are taking plants, replacing, making this park look absolutely perfect. So I've made it down to the boardwalk and I found a tournament of cornhole going on. They're in the semifinals right now. It's getting tense here on the boardwalk. on a cruise ship. How awesome is this? Here we go. Woo! This is awesome. I cannot believe it. I just rode a carousel on a cruise ship. That is pretty awesome. Kids, you're gonna love this. Thank you. Let's bring back the memory. <laughs> Kids from all ages riding the carousel. That's awesome. That is so, so cool. So the boardwalk has some shops of their own. The behind me is, of course, the carousel, which, I mean, the kids absolutely love. There's also a Johnny Rockets here. There's a couple of stores, one that's specifically just Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas merchandise, which I've already bought my cap. I've got a long sleeve uh, rash guard that I'm probably gonna wear at some point as well. And, and then there's another store that has more cover-ups, bags, jewelry, and stuff like that. There's also a Sabora Bar. And then there's also Johnny Rockets. And then another kind of like little kids play area. And it's also the exit to the Ultimate Abyss slide. So this store has got a lot of more casual stuff. The bags, there's some stuffies, there's cover-ups and t-shirts. So, pretty cool. So 
there's also a small arcade. There's a couple of games in there, uh, some bowling games, but the problem is right now with social distancing, a couple of games aren't working. So it's still fun. The kids are gonna like having the arcade handy to kind of let loose just a little bit with some fun games. So you also have the choice when you're picking your stateroom on Harmony the Seas, you can actually have a balcony that faces the boardwalk. So it's a little bit different than other cruise ships where you only can have a ocean view balcony for slightly less you can opt for the balconies that face the boardwalk. And it's still nice you can get out of that open air and see all the fun activities that are going on at the boardwalk. So behind me here on the boardwalk is the Aqua Theater where they put on specific shows, diving, all sorts of fun stuff that includes water effects. It's a really unique stage to be out in the ocean air and then see these performers dancing and jumping and diving into a pool of water right on the back of the ship. Come on over and let Zoltar be sharing with you your fortune. Wow, a Zoltar machine right here on Harmony of the Seas. All right, I guess I gotta listen to the man. We need to try this out. Oh no, Zoltar's not letting me play. Maybe, maybe he'll want me back another day. pool deck and there are a lot of people hanging out here it's kind of tough to find a good spot to hang out but we've got one the chairs aren't the uh, the regular chase loungers like you normally see but they have some footstools not too bad and the weather is perfect beautiful thank you thank you Delivery. So it's time for lunch. We're gonna go get some uh, snack bites and see what they have to offer for a nice sea day out by the pool. Cheeseburger with fries and uh, grilled onions on top of the cheeseburger. And I'm also going to try the chicken burrito. Looks pretty good. Also on the ship, there is soft serve available. So ice cream cones are available free of charge in the afternoon hour. I made a really good choice putting the grilled onions on the burger. It's very tasty. Cruise hack time. So I'm at the pool bar and I have ordered two rum punches that he's gonna make for me and then I'm gonna pour into my Yeti so that I have this full of delicious pool rum punch greatness. Bring your Yeti. So Stanley filled 
filled me up and I am good to go for a little while. At least I need to be done for a little while. So I just went down the yellow slide. It was a lot more intense because you had complete darkness throughout all of it until you got to the very bottom. The green one's a little bit different because you actually see a little bit of light in between the sections and then you have a clear part. So you actually kind of know where you are and then when you get to the funnel, you kind of feel like you're about to go toward the end. But on the yellow and blue ones, you have no idea. You are just in blackness until you come out at the bottom. But overall, having three slides on a cruise ship, that's pretty awesome. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did it. All right, so we have had a great day by the pool, and I went down about two of the three water slides, I think. And then we went for a walk on deck five, and that was pretty awesome. And then we came back to the room and just kind of hung out, chilled. I think, uh, I think we both kind of fell asleep at one point and now it is one of the two formal nights on the cruise so we're gonna have hibachi here in about two and a half hours and i think we're just gonna hang around get a couple of drinks and just visit a few of the lounges before we hit dinner so tag along with us So I just had a conversation with a, uh, a nice lady on the elevator. We were asking, does formal night really exist anymore? And she said that she had been on the seating before us in main dining. And that there was a couple before us, or before her, actually, that had shorts and t-shirts. And they let her in. So I guess, you know, the, the, the dress code is, you know, it's recommended, but it's certainly not required. So Colin and I are dressed up tonight. We've got our, our, our jackets on. We're ready to, to show our best and look nice. Even though we're not going to the McDonald's, we're going to Hibachi tonight, but still, we're gonna look nice tonight. We may even get a picture made. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see if somebody's nice enough to take our picture. Okay, we're going to Boot and Bonnet. We're gonna try the Old Fashioned, which apparently is a featured drink here at the pub. We got our Old Fashioned, and it is very good. Mm. That's one of the best Old Fashions I've had in a while. So our reservation tonight for Hibachi is not till like nine o'clock. And so I was thinking, well, maybe let's go have a slice of pizza. Currently it is around 10 after seven. So that's a while. So I'm gonna have some Caribbean pizza and pepperoni pizza, try it out. And just see how good it is. That's good. So we had a great time having a few cocktails. Now we're gonna head down to Izumi and see if we can't get in a little bit early. We're still about 45 minutes short of our reservation, but we're gonna check and see if we can't get in just a little bit early. Let's try it out. Okay, so I'm not sure I've caught all this, but we're at Izumi, and we have asked to go ahead and sit. So it's now about 8.37. Our reservation wasn't until nine. So they sat us, and we are literally the only people in this room uh, sitting at the hibachi table. However, we have an unlimited dining package. That's where it makes things complicated at Izumi because it doesn't include 
all of the hibachi. It doesn't include the premier combo. Right. So anything above that is going to be $15 extra. Right. So if we want the steak and chicken breast, that's going to be $15 extra. It also does not include the sushi rolls, which we have ordered a rainbow sushi, which I'm not a huge sushi guy, so I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to try it. And then we've also got cold sake. Cold sake. That's included in our drink package. Yeah, so we've got the drink package, which also includes that. So always ask your server, always ask your host or hostess how things work in regards to packages. But we've understood what we're going to do, at least Colin does. And then we will see what we get. Thank you. Oh, is that the sake? Yes. Yeah. And you can do kampai. <laughs> Just kampai. Kampai like those, and then you straight Toast up. Toast it? Okay. Yeah. All right, come on, that's it. Okay, we've got our sake. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Good? Can I that's, get that's good. Yeah, here. All right, so we ordered the rainbow sushi. I have yeah. no idea what we got, but it looks excellent. We're gonna have to try it out. What do we get, Colin? Uh, it's a rainbow roll. What does that mean? Uh, it means uh, it's a roll with different assorted sashimi on top of it. I don't know what that means. He told me nothing. I have no idea. Colin's gonna hook me up. He's taking his sweet little time and doing well, it. Oh, you gotta break the but it's cold. It's gonna happen. All right, now dip it. I need it. That's salmon. That's tuna. Back to salmon and back to tuna. Cheers. He's gonna hate it. He's holding it in. Nothing. He's holding it in. It's good. He's not lying about spicy. Oh, you, you, you must have hit a, a pizza wasabi. So. It's good though. Very good. All right, come come to Azumi. Just don't do just the hibachi. Get the sushi as well. Hibachi is more than just a meal. It's a show. I mean, if you haven't done hibachi, you've got to do hibachi. All right. No. Sandals, cruise ship, whatever. Get to a place that does hibachi. Okay, so The sexy for my love. The sexy for my love. <laughs> 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 like that was gruesome. I'm sorry that you had to see that. That was. So my fried rice is without egg. He's going to prepare the rest of them with some egg, and mine is by itself. Love you too. <laughs> I love you. All right, so he's cooked the chicken, he's cooked the vegetables, he's cooked the rice. Now it's time to cook the beef. Chicken is all 
for me. That's fantastic. Thank you. This is really good. Hibachi in general is really good, but this is exceptional. Very, very good. So that was the result of dinner. It was so good. I forced myself to eat all of the meat off the plate. It was just too good. I couldn't help myself. I have a lava chocolate cake coming, and I don't know how I'm gonna do it. If you go on Royal Caribbean, if there's an Izumi on your ship, do not skip it. Pay the extra money if you have to. It's worth it. All right, so we have gotten dessert. Even though we are so stuffed, we're gonna try some dessert. Colin and I got the chocolate log cake. What do you think? Good. Very good. Very tasty. All right, so Colin and I just got finished with eating at Izumi. I thought it was incredible. What did you think? It was really good. Not yep. too salty. Sometimes hibachi can be salty, but it was perfect. Yeah, now this is like really, really good hibachi. And I've never had hibachi on a cruise ship before. And this is, this was excellent. And we had great people at our table. The dessert was good, even though I didn't want to eat it. I felt like I had to, but it was really, really good. The lava cake was excellent. The chicken was good, the shrimp was good, the beef was good, the rice was great. So everything was great. I highly recommend eating at Azumi on any Royal Caribbean ship. All right, so behind me, there is a dance party going on at the Solarium. A lot of music, people are hanging out. Enjoying, enjoying themselves here on deck 16. It is prime to be a party, but it's kind of raining out, so not many people out right now. Hopefully gonna be turning into something a lot more fun. We'll see. Things have picked up a little bit here in the solarium. We're now doing line dancing. Alright, the party tonight at the solarium is winding down. I think I'm going to head down to deck 5 and see if the karaoke is still going on at on air. If not, it's probably time to head to bed. We'll see. Downtime in New England took me away all my life. This guy's good. Really good. Well, we have had a great first full day here on Harmony of the Seas. It was a sea day, the weather was nice, kind of got a little gloomy with the clouds in the afternoon, but we had a uh, nice day sitting by the pool. And then I have to say, tonight's dinner at Azumi, the hibachi, was absolutely fascinating. Probably some of the best hibachi I think I've ever had. And that's saying something. I've had them at Sandals, several other restaurants, Teppanetto at Disney World, and tonight's hibachi at Izumi was hands down, I think, the best hibachi I've ever had. So that's awesome. Uh, if you can catch that on a Royal Caribbean cruise, I highly recommend it. Uh, I think I am done for the day. Uh, I think that uh, it's now past midnight and I am pretty white. So I think I'm gonna head to bed. Tonight, we actually did have a towel animal in the room. It was an elephant. And that is very cool. That's something that most cruisers really like to see is a some sort of towel animal in their room. So we got that for tonight. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give that a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
and be sure to check out more videos from us hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you do not miss any future content thank you so much for watching and we'll see you real soon